What's going on people and welcome back to my YouTube channel and if this is your first time seeing one of my videos my name is Coco and on this channel I mostly speak about perfumes so if that's something that you're interested in you can go ahead click that subscribe button or join the family thank you very much in today's video as you can already see from the title I'll be talking about the four fragrances that Zara just released in their cherry collection I know cherry so if you'd like to hear my thoughts on these fragrances please continue to watch <laughs> Welcome back my pebbles, I do hope that you guys are doing well and before you comment it, I know, they dropped an amber collection, guys, it's me, C come on, it's me. And I see that they're rolling out new packaging, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? Today's about the four new cherry fragrances, yeah? We're not talking about the amber, we're not talking about new packaging, cherry fragrances. By the way, Zara, I did a cherry video a couple months ago. Where were these fragrances? Hmm? Hmm? Where were they? In production? You could have released them earlier. Yeah, you could have done, okay? Next time, call me and let me know. Quick talk about the packaging, I won't stay long. These come in their 90 ml refillable bottles and it's like an ombre effect, yeah? So you have like the bright red coming down into like a clay and it's matte. The bottles are cute, I can't lie. And all of the fragrances in this collection is of the Eau de Parfum concentration. So my lovelies, I'm gonna kick things off with Cherry Blush. The opening for this fragrance, yeah, it's a burst of juicy red fruits. There's a sweetness coming from the ripe raspberries, there's a tart freshness coming from the strawberries, and there's a tangy aloe coming from the red currants. All those notes combined provide this freshness in the fragrance, and you see for the cherry note, I'm not gonna lie, in hair, it's giving me slightly medicinal. Yeah, the cherry in hair, slightly medicinal. As the initial zest of the red fruits begin to mellow, the heart of this perfume reveals itself, guys. It's magnolia. It's like the most delicate aroma of the magnolia flower. You guys know I love me some magnolia, yeah? Yeah. And for those that don't know, magnolia is often described as creamy and lemony with a subtle hint of floral sweetness. The elegant flower is adding this soft and creamy nuance to this fragrance. I know Zara only mentioned red fruits and magnolia, but obviously you can't have a fragrance with just top and middle notes. You need base notes, right? Yes, you do. Remember, Zara didn't list this, okay? This is what I'm thinking. To me, the base of this perfume is composed of warm grounding notes. So the notes that I think that are in the dry down, remember this is me, okay? Zara didn't list these again, it's just me. I think there's sandalwood, there's musk, and there's vanilla. Hear me out, yeah? Imagine the comforting depth of like powdery sandalwood there's some subtle sweetness of vanilla and then there's some musk do you know what i mean yeah just something warm to ground the fragrance yes moderate sillage and projection with a four pushing to five hour longevity on my skin you know after that it becomes a skin scent hear me out i know that this is a cherry fragrance but you want to know what note is dominating throughout the opening and the entirety of this fragrance raspberry yeah you only get like <laughs> A blush of the cherry note oh my god hence the name cherry blush <laughs> this is just a light and airy sweet fragrance you know it's a nice fruity floral with a powdery dry down babes if this sounds like up your alley here you have it this is cherry blush next up we have cherry balm I'm not even gonna lie to you I'm not gonna hold you this is my favorite okay this is my favorite for the opening I get this refreshing mm, I get this refreshing burst of tangerine and cherry. So the tangerine is giving me this citrusy freshness and the cherry is just adding this sweet, juicy richness. Guys, the opening for this, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, that is so nice. For the middle, they listed rose. It's this jammy, rich, sweet rose. I'm not gonna lie, you didn't need any other accompanying floral notes in the middle. The rose held it down. The rose is just doing everything. The rose, yeah, it's evoking this warmth and opulence. Yeah, the rose in the middle of this, yeah. You see for the dry down, Zara only listed vanilla. It's me, I'm gonna add more, okay? I'm gonna add in some amber, I'm gonna add in some musk, because why not, okay? I don't only smell vanilla, I smell other things as well. Do you get me? Yeah. The vanilla adds this sweet, creamy undertone that complements the rose's richness. The amber contributes a warm, resinous goodness, and you see the musk, yeah? It provides this sensual, lingering finish that ties in all the elements together seamlessly. Guys, 
this is nice okay monorex sillage and projection with a six to seven hour longevity on my skin this fragrance is a celebration of the jammy rose okay that accompanied by some juicy cherry oh my god this fragrance is rich it's yummy it's deep it's syrupy this is so good okay hear me out you know me already i'm a rose girl yeah i'm also a vanilla girly you throw in some cherry hello that has got me going this is cherry balm next up we have cherry temptation hear me out you know that thought that's in your head right now when you hear the word temptation the babes you're not wrong yeah of course you know what this is you you know so for the opening of cherry temptation we have the zesty note of the bitter orange you know mixed in with the essence of juicy cherries that's at their peak you know the juicy cherries that's like sweet but they're like slightly tart but mouth watering yeah as we move into the middle, we have the infamous jasmine. You know the jasmine that's in this type of fragrance? Yeah, that jasmine. The praline that's also in the middle with the jasmine is just adding this sweet nuttiness to the fragrance. And for the dry down, guys, we all know the dry down, okay? It's the amber, it's the moss. You know, the moss is adding this like earthy freshness and you know, slightly green. The amber is just giving you that warm and res... Guys, we know the dry down. Hello, this is Red Temptation with cherries. Come on, we, we knew this. This for me performs the same as Red Temptation. You know, it's super long lasting, moderate sillage and projection. Like, listen, I said to you, this is Red Temptation with some juicy cherries. It's like you get the juicy cherries at the start and like the burnt sugar DNA of Red Temptation throughout the rest of the fragrance, yeah? So if you were after like a cherry, Baccarat Rouge, a cherry, a Red Temptation, here you have it, my darlings. This is Cherry Temptation. And last but certainly not least, we have Lucky Cherry. This for me opens with a vibrant blend of juicy red fruits and a slightly tart and green cherry. Yeah, green. Because for me, the cherry in here, it's not fully right. Does that make sense? I say this because I'm getting this slightly green note in this fragrance. It's nothing to overpower the composition of this fragrance. I'm just getting something slightly green. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, hear me out. Zara didn't add a middle note, so I'm gonna add the same floral note that every perfumer adds when they don't know what florals to add to their fragrance. What note is that? Exactly, jasmine. What the jasmine continues to do in here is just embrace the fruity theme of this fragrance as the red fruits remain prominent and you know their sweetness, it becomes more well-rounded. The base of this fragrance is anchored by musk and that's just adding a soft and powdery finish. This has slightly below moderate sillage and projection with like a four hour longevity on my skin. This fragrance is indeed soft. Don't get me wrong here, this fragrance, it's really nice. It's like a delightful blend of like the vibrant juicy fruits, but the dry down is like this soft sensual mask. You know one that sits closer to the skin? Yeah, if you're a person that don't really like your fragrance to be like protruding and like boxing people down, you're like a softer to the skin type of fragrance, but you need something juicy and vibrant at the same time, this is yours baby. This is Lucky Cherry. Well, there you have it, my loves. My thoughts on the four new cherry fragrances released by Zara. Hear me out, yeah? Do not rush me for the amber ones, okay? These fragrances, the cherry ones, haven't even been out for a week. You guys got a YouTube short and a video a couple days later. I beg you, give me some time, okay? Give me some time to enjoy the amber ones because there's a few in there that I'm like, yeah, give me some time, please. <laughs> give me some time to enjoy the amber ones, yeah? Thank you. Hear me out, yeah? Someone asked me on Instagram if these fragrances live up to my expectations. My thing is, I can kind of judge if I'm gonna love a fragrance or not from the bottles that Zara put them in. Does that make sense? You know, like these cylindrical bottles, I know that those might be bangers, yeah? But like these ones are in the little refillable ones. I kind of know that those fragrances are gonna be like, yeah, like a hit and miss. Does that make sense? So when I saw them in these bottles, I was like, all right, so maybe we're gonna have like a body mist kind of collection. I'm not saying that these are like body mist, okay? Don't judge a long cherry on these fragrances because we have a fragrance out there called Lost Cherry that's like 400 pounds that lost three hours on the skin. But you want to have a go at Zara that's giving you a 90 mil for 15 pounds and 99 pence. Pack it in, babes, yeah? Pack it in. Allow the longevity of these Zara fragrances. The longevity on these fragrances, yeah, I'm telling you, I'm getting between four and five hours. I think the Cherry Bomb, that's my favorite. That kind of gives me a six to seven. That's the most, yeah? But even though I'm an avid lover of long-lasting fragrances, sometimes you need some fragrances that gives you mid. 
Do you know what I mean? Because throughout the day, I like to either top up my fragrance or change my fragrance. You get me? So these fragrances are giving me like a four to five hour. That gives me like a window to like change my fragrance and test something new or to wear another fragrance. Do you know what I mean? Is that sirens? Yeah, Delina, they're still looking for you, babe, because what's going on? These fragrances aren't groundbreaking, but they're not bad. You get me? As I always say, I'm just here to give you an insight of what these fragrances smell like. Still go out and do your testing for yourself. Test these fragrances for yourself, okay, babe? For yourself. Well, my darlings, this is where I'm going to end the video. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. It's greatly appreciated. As always, thank you so much for watching. But before you go, don't forget to give me a thumbs up by clicking that like button. Comment down below and let me know if any of these fragrances caught your attention. Are you thinking of buying any of them yet? Yeah? Just let me know. Let's have a proper chin wag in the comment section, yeah? Yeah. Share this video with a mate. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye. For me, there's a comforting, 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 comforting girl. So for the opening of red, cherry, cherry, cherry temptation, not red temptation. Are you guys hearing the thunder? Hi. She's just switching on. Guys, look, my hair different color. And then improved. I know, I know. I know you've missed me. I get it, truly I do. But it's okay. I'll be back. I like your jumper. Thanks, it's men's. Come where? Zara. You smell like how fetty. Come. I sprayed like four different perfumes and I don't even know what I smell like. How fetty. I can smell how fetty. That was fetty. the last one I just Yeah, that one's strong. 108, food. See you later. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. You can't trust in me. I can't use it.